Right, let's go to COVID now. Georgia's number of new COVID cases and patients continues to decline. So that's some good news. Statewide yesterday, there were about 3,200 new cases. That's down more than 20% in the last week. Even so, our overall test positivity rate is still pretty high. It's currently double the level recommended by the World Health Organization to avoid high community spread of the virus. The data also showing that we're seeing fewer COVID hospital patients. August 12th was the last time we saw a number this low. Those with the virus make up about 24% of all people in the hospital today. That number, though, really needs to be below 20% to ensure that there are enough medical resources for everyone who needs treatment. So on a good path, but still some ways to go. A series of studies shows that schools that do not have a universal mask mandate are three and a half times more likely to have a COVID-19 outbreak. The CDC research comes from a study of roughly 1,000 K-12 through schools in Arizona. Those that had no masking requirements had nearly 60% of the outbreaks, compared to 8% in the schools that did have a mask mandate. Even outside the classroom, the research shows that COVID-19 case rates among children were higher in counties that had schools that did not require masks. The COVID-19 pandemic is now the deadliest pandemic in America's history. Vaccines and masks continue to be a hot button issue, especially when it comes to these mandates in schools. Some parents argue COVID isn't as deadly for children like the flu is. Our Hope Ford verifies the facts. Recently, a parent supporting Cobb County School Board's decision to keep masks optional made this argument. If kids are dying at a lesser rate than the flu, then what do we need masks for? So we wanted to verify. Our sources, the CDC and the Georgia Department of Public Health. Now, let's address an elephant in the room. Yes, more kids have died from the flu overall because the flu's been around longer than COVID. So because the two viruses are not the same, and to make this comparison a bit more apples to apples, we're showing you the recent numbers since the pandemic began. Here's what the data shows for people under the age of 18. In Georgia, 16 kids died from COVID. That's 0.072% of all COVID deaths in the state. 15 children died from the flu in the 2019-2020 season, making up 1.1% of all flu deaths in the state. It's a similar result when you look at the nation as a whole. And to add context, fewer people died from the flu overall in the 2019-2020 season because, as the CDC noted, pandemic precautions like hand washing, social distancing, and masks helped. So it's a twofold answer. Yes, in Georgia, there's a larger percentage of flu deaths in children, but more children died of COVID. It's hard to definitively say kids are dying at a lesser rate than the flu because we don't know how long COVID-19 will persist or the impact of the current flu season. That's all such important context and 11 Alive is committed to verifying claims that you see. If you see something that needs to be verified or if you just have a question about whether something is legit or not, send us an email at verify at 11alive.com. We'll look into it for you.